This is Eric Malinowski for the Patriot League Network talking to the victorious Matt Langle defeating Cornell 81-258. And welcome to Cotterell Court for the 2013-2014 season. A good win here tonight, Coach. It, it was. It was great to get home after two, two tough road games and, uh, and get established in what kind of seems like a new venue. Benches on the other side, new beautiful banners hanging from the rafters. It was uh, it was a warm feeling in here tonight for sure. Nip and talking about the first 10 minutes, and then you guys were able to impose your will in the later stages of the first half to take a double-digit lead and ultimately 38-29 at the end of the first half. What did you guys start doing well in the later stages of the first half that led to that lead? Uh, I think just got our legs underneath us a little bit, started being a little bit more di disciplined on the defensive end. We uh, thought we got good looks the entire first half, and then uh, some started to go down a little bit later in the half as we, we got that lead. We slipped up a little bit there at the end, missed the layup, fouled the guy. Uh, you know, our discipline wasn't wasn't quite near where, where it needs to be. I thought it improved there in the second half in stretches. Ethan Jacobs hit some big shots, three out of three from Triple Town in the first half, I believe five out of six. He played very well, ended up with 15 points. He's an offensive weapon. Uh, you know, anytime it, big people aren't used to guarding guys who are as capable of shooting. Uh, and then when he mixes in his interior game, he's worked really hard on his post game this summer, uh, being able to score going both ways in the post. It, it, it gives you a great weapon, um, you know, as a, as a five man, as a center, so to speak, that, that isn't necessarily just a physical. Force. Defensively, I thought you did a great job. Nolan Kressler finished with 19 points over his season average, but I believe he got 10 to 12 of those in the second half, Coach. In the first half, when it really counted, you held Kressler in check. It did. Cherry hurt us in the Devin Cherry. He's a talented guy. Hurt us in the first half a little bit. I think he got 12, but he turned it over a number of times and, and took 10 shots to get 12 points. I think when you're guarding guys who can really score anytime, they have to take the number of shots it takes to get those to get that that scoring total. Uh, you've done a good job. Um, you know his, his percentage was Kressler was close to to close to 50 percent, but uh, like you said, he got some of those late there as we had extended our lead. And you had to like the decisions of your team in the second half. I believe at the end of the first half it was nine assists compared to seven turnovers overall, 19 to 10. So if I'm doing my math on the fly right. 10 to 3 in the second half. That's pretty good assist to turnover ratio. Coach. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to quarrel with that number. Uh, three turnovers in the half was pretty good. Seven was was far too many um, for for what we're capable of. Uh, you know, that's going to change every game depending on who you're playing and what kind of defense. But uh, I'm proud of those numbers. Our, our two primary ball handlers go 10 to 3 on the assist to turnover, and we were just about two to one as a team. Uh, th that's really going to result in, in getting you getting good shots, which I think is a reason why we were able to shoot such a good field goal percentage. The other man in double digits, Murphy Bernatowski, a little bit of a slow start, but his shot came in the second half, 19 points for Murphy. Yeah, he gets 19 points in 26 minutes, shot 50% from the field, and we, we all know he's a good three-point shooter, so for him to go two for seven on open looks, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take those chances. He got himself to the foul line. I thought he did a great job of getting himself inside, uh, being disciplined about not forcing shots. Uh, the focus is going to be on him a lot of times. It's a good reason why Ethan gets some good looks and Pat gets some looks and Dean gets some looks. So uh, I'm really proud of the way uh, Murphy has worked and the leadership he's provided. That was a, it was a great team for him. I enjoyed talking to you, Coach. I could talk all night to you, but I know it's time to study some film on St. Francis, PA. They're coming to town Saturday. Yeah, no doubt about it. It's a quick turnaround. We're excited to be home and uh, looking forward to getting the rhythm of playing games every couple of days. That is Co Coach Matt Lingle. This is Eric Malinowski. Colgate victorious, 81-58. This is Eric Malinowski for the Patriot League Network talking to the much taller than I am, Ethan Jacobs. Ethan, congratulations. Your first game at Cotterell Court. You played very well, and the team played very well. Talk about your experience at Cotterell Court. Uh, it was a great turnout. I was you know, happy to see a lot of people come here tonight. Um, great team effort. We moved the ball for us. It was fun. Chomping at the bit, you got to see what the Cotterell Court experience was like a year ago where you had to sit out due to transfer rules, and it, it must have been almost surreal finally getting to play yeah. here at Cotterell Court. Yeah, a lot of energy built up for this game. You know, it was exciting. Um, that year sitting out, it was tough, but... You know, gave me a great opportunity to watch film, get better at my game, and work in the forest and work the and with the coaches on my individual skill and improvement. So it was nice. Everybody very excited in Hamilton about the potential that your team has this year, but until you take the court, you really never know what you're going to be like. So it must feel really good to come out here and perform like you guys know you're capable of. Yeah, it was nice. You know, 
hopefully the excitement continues throughout the community and we continue to have uh, our fans come out and support us like they do. And you must have been happy with the open looks that you got in the yeah. first half and the fact that you drilled the open looks. Is, is that a design play you guys have in your playbook where Luke uh, Rowe uh, shovels it yeah. to you top of the key? Yes, yeah, sometimes, but, you know, it's just it's the read of the defense, and, you know, Luke does a great job of pushing the ball and reading off, and so, and the defense and, you know, what we should do, so. One of the assets this year, Ethan, I think, is the depth of this team. I haven't seen such a deep Colgate men's basketball team in, in some years. When you go out, Clay Graham comes in, and, you know, the guard depth. Uh, do you see it in practice? I mean, you guys must be competing all the time. Yeah, it's a lot of competition in practice, and you know, you got to give that to the coaches for recruiting and, you know, the fine job that they did of bringing us all together. And it's a group of guys that love to play and, you know, love to be around each other. So it's, it's fun practices. Congratulations on this one, Ethan, and thank go game Saturday against St. Francis, PA. All right, thank you. That is Colgate's Ethan Jacobs. This is Eric Malinowski, Patriot League Network.